What's up guys, it's Matwai here, back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to code enhanced Bluetooth into your BMW. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video at the end, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for your boy. So for today's video, we're gonna be coding the enhanced Bluetooth audio in your BMW. Um, I had mentioned in one of my previous videos on my review of my 420i that I did not like how it didn't come with the capabilities of playing your MP3 Bluetooth via Bluetooth in your car. Um, so I had to code that into my car. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that today. So first things first, before we get started, there are a few things that you're going to need to um, actually code the Bluetooth into your vehicle. Um, one of those things being an OBD port, like a little diagnostic reader. So I got this on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the bottom uh, in the description, but you're gonna need one of these to actually connect your phone to your vehicle. You're also going to need an app called Bimmer Code. Um, this is just the app that allows you to code, you know, different things into your vehicle. Another thing that I would like to mention is that you cannot code this um, enhanced Bluetooth into your vehicle if you do not have a comm box. So what I am talking about, I will show you guys right now. So if you open up your trunk, right here you'll see this little flap you can lift up you'll see two things you'll see your fuse box right there to the right and then right here on the left that is a com box some cars have them some cars don't like i said if you do not have this you will not be able to do this and for those of you that don't have the com box there are different options that you can do to have your audio bluetooth in your bmw you can get one of those little aux jacks that come with like the bluetooth signal so you can connect to your phone um, but honestly, just anything that's not wired directly to your phone is better because um, having that aux cord run through your car into your phone just to play music, it's kind of a pain. But anyway, continuing with the video, like I said, so if you have the OBD port sensor, whatever you want to call it, if you have Bimmer Code the app, and if you have a comm box, then let's get right into it. All right, guys, so we're in the cabin of the vehicle. And I'm going to walk you guys through step-by-step step on how to code um, the enhanced Bluetooth in your vehicle. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is plug in your little OBD sensor to your OBD port. So I, let me show you guys exactly where that's at right now. I have my little sensor right here ready to plug in. So you're actually going to plug this in right underneath here in this area. So let me show you guys that right now. As you can see right there, let me see right here actually is where you're gonna plug this in. So you just plug it in just like this, and it should light up once it's in there, just like that. So once you've plugged in your little OBD sensor, you're gonna to wanna to open up the Bimmer Code app. So once you open up the Bimmer Code app, it's gonna ask you to connect. And so you just press connect. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your Bluetooth is enabled, obviously, like it just, it just told me to enable my Bluetooth. Because once again, you're connecting your phone to your vehicle. So obviously your Bluetooth has to be on. So turn on your Bluetooth, connect it. And it's connecting right now. And then you're going to want to choose what kind of vehicle you have. So in my case, I have my 4 Series F33 is the chassis. So I'm going to click BMW 4 Series. And it lists all the chassis underneath from 2013. So that's when I'll be clicking. Press continue. And it's gonna load, reading your VIN, reading vehicle order, all that. And it might take a while, especially if this is your first time using the app. Um, it could take could take a while, um, but usually when you go in and out of the app, uh, it, it gets much faster once you once you've been using it. So as you can see, there are a lot of things that you can go into once you get into the app. But what we're going to be focusing on is we're going to be focusing on head unit. So go ahead and click on head unit. And then once again, it's going to load. Now I will warn you guys, Bimmer code has everything broken up. As you can see right here. So sports display, video in motion, all of that. So this is pretty much like for everyone to access. This is like the default, um, you know, beginners. If you're just now getting into Bimmer code, I would stick to this page. But for this um, video, for coding the enhanced Bluetooth audio, you do have to go into what's called expert mode. In expert mode, you just really wanna be careful because you can really mess up your vehicle if you don't know what you're doing in expert mode. 
but um, no worries I'm here to walk you guys through step by step so you're gonna click on expert mode it's gonna it's gonna tell you the warning you know using expert mode incorrectly can cause serious problems that may require reflash stuff like that so pretty much don't go into expert mode if you don't know what you're doing but in this case since I'm walking you through a step by step you should be okay so go ahead and press continue then you're gonna go 3003 telephone telecomatic online click on that and then you're gonna to wanna to go down to CDMM Bluetooth Audio. Make sure that's active right here. Now, mind you, I already have this code into my car, so everything that I'm gonna tell you to turn active, I'm gonna already have it active on my screen, but you probably won't have it active on your screen. So, make sure that's active on CDMM Bluetooth Audio. Once that's active, you're gonna go down and find CDMM Bluetooth Database which is so right here CDMM Bluetooth database click on that make sure that's active once that's active exit out of that then you're gonna go down to audio player so let's find audio player and there's lots of stuff on this page so just please make sure that you're paying attention um, which one you're clicking so this one right here, audio player on off, make sure that's active as well. Then you're gonna go to Bluetooth module on off, make sure that's active as well. And then last but not least, you're gonna go to A2DP profile, and then make sure that's active as well. Now, exiting, once you're done with that, you can go all the way back, and you can actually get out of the head unit. After the head unit, you're gonna go up to com box. Once again, if you do not have a com box, you will not see this on your app. But for those that have a com box, you're gonna click on com box, wait for that to load. And then once again, once you're in com box, you're gonna to wanna to go into expert mode again. It'll give you the warning, press continue. Then you're gonna go down to 3004 Bluetooth parameter. And then you're going to go to the ATDP underscore AVRCP underscore EIN underscore AUS you're gonna click on that and then make sure that is active as well once you do that you should be good to go you should have everything active that you need to have active so at this point in time you would go back and press code once again I already have this stuff coded in my BMW so it, it's not highlighted for me but in your case this code that little code at the upper right hand corner should be highlighted um, so press code and then your car will restart if your car is on um, I would definitely recommend doing this while your car is on just so that way you don't have any battery issues but so you're gonna press code your car will restart um, automatically once it's done coding and then you might get some weird warnings or some weird um, lights on your head unit but once you start your car back up they should all disappear so once you're done with that you should have coded your Bluetooth audio um, and then you can go ahead and check it out. So let me show you guys from my point of view. So here's the head unit. And if you would have looked at your head unit beforehand, you would know that it didn't have like the Bluetooth audio. So what you're gonna wanna do is turn, um, you can just click on the Bluetooth audio and then connect your phone. You should be able to click on your Bluetooth phone and then boom, your music is there. Obviously I don't have anything playing. So once I do have something playing, it'll show you the artist, the album, and it will show you the title of the song and you should be good to go as far as Bluetooth. One thing I forgot to mention, once you're done coding, um, you can go ahead and take out that OBD sensor because you won't need it. I, I would say only put it into your vehicle um, when you plan on using Bimmer code. I wouldn't just leave it in there just driving around daily. And just like that, that wraps up today's video. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions or concerns because I know it was a lot of content and there was a lot of information thrown at you guys. Um, also, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do more videos on Bimmer Code, the app, and coding. Because like I said, there is a whole bunch that you can do on that app to um, completely change your car. But I would definitely try this before doing anything else. It's very, very inexpensive and it's a great way to get your enhanced Bluetooth audio without having to pay an arm and a leg. But just like that, it wraps up today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And just like that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show? I'm about to take down. You already know. Get the fuck out of my face now. Yeah, you gotta go. Man, I'm on the chase now.